Hill Travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in New York City, and today I'm gonna answer a question that Anita sent us. And Anita asks, Walter's World, what's been your worst travel experience? And I'll be honest with you, throughout all these years and decades of traveling, we really haven't had too many bad experiences or, or horrible experiences out there. Thank goodness we've all had our health, we haven't broken too many bones, but there have been some things, like I shattered my collarbone skiing in Finland, and my son cut his head open falling down the stairs in the Netherlands and Liam, which is probably one of the most traumatic ones for Johnson when we traveled, Liam got his hand caught in a swinging door, but not in this part, on the hinge part where we're in China, and we ended up having to go to three different hospitals before we could find one that could get him an x-ray and check his hand out. That was one of the not good days of travel in our lives, okay? But in the end, his hand was fine, it worked out actually pretty funny because the doctor that, that we ended up seeing, actually his friend is one of our fans on here, so it was kind of a nice little coincidence how things worked out. But we've had other experiences that were very scary at the time, like we were in El Salvador staying on the beach and we had gotten sick and so Joss and I are literally taking turns you know what in on the bathroom and at 1.30 in the morning there was an earthquake and all I could think was there's an earthquake, a tsunami's coming and I can't get off the toilet that was actually one of the scarier ones, but the alarms didn't go off. We talked to people like, it's okay, they would have had the alarms go. But that was kind of scary at the time. And then probably the one that was the scariest for us to, as a family is when Jocelyn was pregnant with Liam. We were living in Portugal, and when she went to get an ultrasound when he was 20 weeks old, back then I couldn't go with her. I spoke fluent Portuguese, she didn't. And so the doctor took her back for the, the, the sonogram, and he's like, um, sit down and don't get up. What? And so Jocelyn comes out in tears. I'm like, what's wrong, what's wrong? And the another nurse comes out and she's like, hey, I'm gonna to talk to your doctor. She needs to go on bed rest. We said, we had a point with our doctor. It turns out Jocelyn's cervix was, was shrinking fast and they thought Liam would come at like 22 weeks. The babies are supposed to come at 40 weeks. And so Jocelyn actually went on bed rest for four months. She had to spend a month in a Portuguese hospital, but every day they're like, he could be coming today. He could be coming today. He could be coming today. And if you don't know, if babies are born that early, it's not usually a good prognosis. Like, I still get goosebumps from it. Thinking back on how terrified it was all happening, yet we were lucky enough that she could stay, you know, in, in bed at our house. And then I still remember it was Valentine's Day, and we're going to the doctor to think maybe things are better and she'll get to, you know, go out for a Valentine's dinner. No, they called me back into the office and say, Mark, you need to go back home and get Jocelyn a bag. She's not leaving. She's not leaving the hospital. So that was 14th of February that she didn't leave the hospital and she ended up staying there for a whole month in a Portuguese hospital. At the time I was a PhD student and I was teaching as well and I had Caleb who was three at the time and we would go back and forth across the city every day to see her in the hospital and we'd be getting home on the subway like at midnight you know getting him to school in the morning every day we were worried we're worried and then Jocelyn got to come home when my mom came to visit and she actually made it all the way to where the doctor said hey we're gonna induce tomorrow because the baby's gonna come and I don't want to miss this because we all went through so much for this and so on April 20th of 2011 our baby Liam came healthy and safe and everything after literally four months of us all being scared you know what list that he wasn't gonna make it so that would probably be my scariest travel experience in terms of that all right so yeah that went a long way considering I was really just on my notes was gonna talk about Liam getting his hand smashed the, the it says poopy earthquake in El Salvador and oh yeah and when I was a kid I got chased through the streets of Guadalajara on the back of a pickup truck which was actually kind of a funny story when I think about it now but scary as hell at the time Time. Anyway, if you have questions for us about travel or our experiences or want to know more about anything, let us know in the comments below. We'll try to make a video to help answer your questions. And I'll say bye from here in New York, which is not a scary place to visit people. It's a fantastic city. Come and enjoy New York.